I got a G1X4 recently. I already have the B1X4 for base, and I really like that unit. It allows me to take my Steinberger travel base, the, the cheap Gibson one, not the original, um, around with me if I travel somewhere or it's difficult in this current climate, uh, and I can just plug it into the unit, do some EQ on it, put some patches on, but mostly just listen to it in earphones, and it's just really neat. Uh, you could even take it to a gig, I suppose, and play it that way makes it a lot easier than traveling cabinets around um so it's all good stuff yeah and i bought the guitar one because i thought well maybe let's let's get the guitar one it's fairly cheap i think 80 85 pounds in the uk it uses the same guitar libs lab software which i already have loaded on so what i can do is plug it in at the moment it says no device found please check that it's connected okay so what i do is i pull out the usb cable and when you first plug it on windows at least and finds a device driver and installs it so now i plug it in and now you have to be patient because it's booting up zoom g1x4 version 2.0 bombas basically what it says on the u39 and nothing happens no device found and at this point i'm pulling the goddamn cable out and now it says device found so uh, maybe i have an old I, I do have an old pc yeah um so that could be the problem uh but in any case so what you then have is a fairly nice piece of software this will eject it um you have the ability to look at effects patches editor the news just tells you information about it um and if you click on here it visualizes the patch which is a lot easier than using the front panel the front panel is okay but it's not super intuitive um and i seem to remember arch was saying that a lot of these um presets don't have any cabinets on them and i think he's saying that a cabinet model is the best now this bomb basic for example is pretty useless and rubbish now i would really like to let's make this full screen i'd really like to be able to get rid of it but i don't think i can i don't think there's any way of deleting it oh wait a minute what does that do delete delete uh, i don't know it doesn't seem to be doing anything in my opinion i guess because it's a fixed preset um i mean it, it, the problem is that when you look at the effect for example it gives you a list of stuff and i have a feeling if it's in gray it's already on the machine okay because it won't let you load it if it's in uh what's that yellow then you can load it but if you look at the bottom here if you can see it says use memory 100 percent. so what i'm going to have to do is to go through these various uh filter effects or various effects and work out which ones i don't want to take them off so already out of the box i've just plugged in and loaded one one new i think it was some sort of reverb i tried to load or pedal thing yeah and that was enough to fill it up fill up the memory and that's bad form really i think um so I, that's the first thing i think if you want to make use of this that you need to do in my opinion in terms of the patches the zep is okay but it's everything's about drive and, and overdrive yeah which is handy for me i have a, a valve amp in the uk um uh, what is it a laney r12 and that's a really nice sounding clean amp or you can put the gain on it and this allows you to get some of the gain sound uh, digitally but i mean hell gain sounds so much better on a real tube amp in the room unless you've got some fantastic impulse response type device so a lot of these things, this Corona eye, ironically, is quite good in the current circumstances. Uh, most of these are, in my opinion, are pretty useless. I wouldn't use them. I mean, why do I, why do I need a, a sitar? I mean, if I want a sitar, I'll buy one. And I'd really like to be able to delete this thing. Um, but I don't know any way that I can do it. So this is what I find slightly annoying about the unit. Um, now, then you can go on to a new patch editor and it will start to show me when i move here it shows me 50 on the actual whatever so now you see uh this is one i think i did actually set up myself so i put a fender twin on there and where does it show me i think i put a fender twin uh, a cabinet of some thing of flanger a pedal volume and a noise reduction um and there's the noise reduction there's the pedal there's the flanger there's the ms whatever there's so i ah look i see the fender twin is taking up two slots and you get a certain amount of processing power if you go past that you're stuck so that you can switch it on and off on off uh, and that's quite neat this way round. but 
what's really frustrating as hell is the limited amount of memory on it um so i think that's where i find this one i mean yes there's a limited amount of memory on the base one but the the 30 or so presets on the base b1 uh b1x4 are much better in my opinion much more useful but it depends on the music you're playing uh, i'm more clean and blue stuff so most of this stuff is just really not very good but simply to say the software works okay i'm already on the latest version of the update um if i wasn't i'd have to jump through the hoops and that can be a real pain and just just off screen at the minute the zoom has now decided to go back into the mode where it's not on a pc mode yeah because i guess we're editing 50 um and every so often it will decide to lose um it will lose the connection it's okay at the minute but it'll lose the connection and you just need to wait about 15 seconds or so uh, between change otherwise it it just won't go away if only there was a way of ch uh, maybe can i change this stuff can i change it can i edit it doesn't look like it can i clip it can i add okay i can add all right let's move along can i click that can i delete ah can i do that it looks like i can delete stuff let's see all right, let's leave it as a Fender Twin. Can I now save that? Save. Save to that. Okay. Okay, can I change the name? Uh, Shooking. Oop. Can't even type my own name. Uh, this is changed. Uh -uh. This is changed. Changed who knew okay okay save that save 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 where's the save button gone there save that yeah okay so and it says shooking on a display and there's only one on number three uh wait a minute oh no wait a minute oh cause, uh, sorry it's on the three because it's 39 if i edit it there's just a fender twin ah okay you can do it i take it back i take it back you can destroy the presets you just need to do it so you can't actually delete the thing at least it, that doesn't mean what i thought it meant it just means you have to go through and start again with the preset i didn't know that uh this has actually made my day so um thank you for exploring this with me I, i'm going to play with my my uh, base one now this is cool i have lots more presets so what i need to do is to go for the effects work out if any of these have i mean for example uh uh, a bomber thing I, it's just not necessary yeah so that's what i'll be doing today then i'll be playing with this and having a go and that's made my day so thank you for watching and hope you can get more out of this machine than i can